what's the what's the last few weeks been like for you uh, getting ready for the season? Um, the last week's been it's just amazing, eye opening to me. Uh, I think just being around like these high profile guys is just kind of it's been exciting, but it's also like kind of a surreal feeling. Whereas though I'm like, all right, this is actually reality in terms of. A couple months ago, I was watching all these guys on TV, hearing all about their names and stuff, and now I'm competing with them day in and day out. So it's, it's just a great experience. Is there anything you're looking forward to do uh, around the world as the experience the Um, I mean, besides, I, I think I experienced the food a lot. <laughs> as soon as I got down here, the food was one of the first things that I started trying out. Um, but other than that, I'm kind of a laid back, low key guy. So we got a, a lot of workouts. So I'm really tired after those. So I'm usually in a room just hanging out. What was that? Um, I think just mainly off the court. He's just a great dude, good dude to be around. He's always uh, got a smile on his face, put a smile on other guys, joking around. And then on the court, he's. <laughs> He's just, uh, his physical presence is, is just crazy. Um, as soon as he gets the ball, if if you don't make him pass it and he, he decides he want to get to the rim, then he, he's getting to the rim. And I think he the thing I noticed about him, he's like one of the strongest guys that I've seen with like soft touch around the rim, which is like different from a lot of versatile, like a big uh, guards, I guess. Uh, a lot of people down here were excited to watch that summer league team Uh, it was great. Um, I knew once I uh, was going to play summer league with the, with the Pelicans and they drafted Zion, Nikhil, and Jackson, I knew it was going to be exciting. We was going to have the spotlight. And I'm just happy those guys those guys stepped up big, especially with Nikhil. He provided so much scoring for us, which helped us continue to win. Jackson, he got had all those highlight plays, especially that one dunk, which was crazy. <laughs> and then Zion, just after that first game, watching him play against the Knicks, go against RJ, and just the atmosphere that – pretty much he brought into the building was, was crazy, especially on some of those dunks. Um, I don't know if you can see, but in the background, I'm kind of hyped up, flexing on the bench just just for his dunks. <laughs> when you were out there, I mean, you, were, you watched Jackson as well, it was something he did. What, what are you kind of seeing from, from all, some of these other rookies that, that you think can translate? Out of like Jackson and Kale? Yeah. Uh, Jackson, uh, I think he's, he's going to be so effective in the in the NBA, especially where it's headed in terms of just fast pace, uh, especially the way Coach uh, Gentry wants us to play. Um, I think Jackson setting screens and rolling to the rim, he's going to be that lob threat. And I think he just opens so much up for other players uh, because you have to pay attention to him once he rolls off that pick and roll. And then um, Nikhil, he's so versatile. He can shoot the ball, catch and shoot. He can shoot off the dribble, create for himself. He's a, a willing and great passer, so he can create for others. And I think you don't really get that too much. I think a lot of guys who can score in many different ways, they're not too willing to get off the ball. And I think he's he's one of those unique guys who's willing to pass the ball and get the get the assist and celebrate his teammate's success. What do you feel like, like is your strengths and what areas you feel like you've been working on? Um, I think my strengths is just getting downhill, getting to the rim. Um, I'm pretty athletic, so I think I can finish above the rim at times, do difficult finishes. And uh, I think the the main part that I'm working on is just getting to using my, my craftiness to get to the rim and create for others in terms of not always thinking I have to finish the ball at the rim. Sometimes get in there, draw the defense, and then kick out. And I think that'll be, the once I master that, I think that'll be the next step in my in my game. If you're focusing on your, wanting to focus on your passing more, that just has to elevate your excitement of playing with Zion and Jackson and this athletic court. Exactly. Um, I think in college I wasn't playing with too many like bigs like Jackson and Zion. Those those guys are pretty unique and athleticism is crazy. So. Now, I mean, I don't, I, with Jackson, I don't think I got to work, or, or Zion, I don't have to work too hard. kind of just throw it anywhere within the backboard. They're going to go get it. So it's uh, fun to have those, those guys who can just throw the ball up and they'll just go and get it and finish it. Is there anything you're looking forward to learning from uh, the current guards like Drew Holiday or Eastman or the more experienced? Uh, Most definitely. Most definitely. Um, I think uh, just from being here this past month, uh, I think one of the things I kind of – 
slowly been learning with uh, watching Drew play is just his tempo, the change of speed. Uh, like in college, I'm so used to everything just going 100 miles per hour. Um, I think now in the NBA setting, guys are going fast to slow, changing different speed, which is it seems to be working pretty effective uh, the way he's been playing. So I kind of want to try to get that into my game. Um, Lonzo, his pass and his IQ and just how he gets everybody involved. There's a, they, all, of, all of our older guys, I guess, they have different things that I would love to try to get from their game and put it into mine. Um, I don't think it's tough. I think it's like once you do it, like after a day or two, then you're just like, oh, all right, this is different. And then you kind of just catch on. Um, like the difference in the, the NBA setting is as soon as the ball goes through the net, Coach Gentry wants us inbounding it and pushing it up the court. And if you don't have the ball, he wants you flying up the wing, get to the corner so we can space out the floor. I think in college sometimes ball goes through the net, you kind of sulk or whatever that the team scored. And, and most times, most offenses, they walk the ball up the court or just jog it up. And Coach Gentry doesn't really want that. So that's a that's a, a difference for me. But I kind of I like that. That kind of goes towards my uh, advantage in terms of just playing faster, getting downhill. Yep, thank you.